And tonight, the two candidates for vice president, Governor Tim Walls and Senator J.D. Vance, will be facing off in their only debate. Kagan 9's Blake Phillips joins us live here in studio. And Blake, tonight we could find out there's quite a lot of people who will want to tune in just to hear what the candidates have to say. Yeah, well, the vice presidential debate is not something that normally draws a lot of fanfare, but this election is very tight. And just like that, anything is possible. So I wanted to ask people what they are expecting. So far this election cycle, each presidential debate has had big talking points come out of them. The first one, of course, led to President Biden bowing out of the race. Then the second one, leaving more questions than answers. Tonight, J.D. Vance and Tim Walls face off in the one and only vice presidential debate. And it's safe to say, expectations are high. Will you be watching the debate tomorrow? I will. Will you be watching the debate tomorrow night? I will be. Absolutely. The campaign trail here in Arizona has been busy. But voters I spoke with are looking to hear more from Vance and Walls. I really want to see what um, Walls has to say for in terms of making sure that the economy is going towards a good direction. I don't see that happening. I still think it's important for people who are on the fence to see what the other candidates are, are thinking. For decided voters, this debate may not have much of an effect on their decision. But is there any chance tomorrow's debate will change your mind on who you're voting for? No. Um, no. Absolutely not. But one thing some of these voters do want, to see another presidential debate. I'd like for it to be on a neutral platform, not CBS or ABC News or anything like that. I don't think it would change my vote, but I think there are still people out there that need to hear from each candidate. So we talk about it a lot, but with how tight this race is, I wanted to take another look at the Arizona polling average on 538. You'll see it today uh, around one point, and that's the first time that Trump's really had a lead since Vice President Harris stepped into the race. And it's really just been kind of going back and forth over the last couple of weeks with Trump now taking a solid uh, one point lead. So guys, anything can really happen 35 days away from the election. It's really going to be just a boat race. And based on, uh, you know, the candidates and the campaigns coming to Arizona for the rest of the time, Blake, I think they see this as a, a key piece, perhaps for their strategy. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, for sure.